We begin at 5.30 with a fiery crash between a semi and an SUV on I-71 in Deerfield Township, and it leaves a teenager dead. Southbound lanes of 71 shut down for hours right near the very busy area of Fields Ertl this morning. And thanks a lot for joining us here at 530. I'm Mike Dardis. And I'm Ashley Kirkland. And today we are learning more about the unusual circumstances that led to that crash. And WLWT News 5's Brian Hamrick live right now with a story. And Brian, how did this become a head on collision? Yeah, Mike, well, investigators say they believe it all started here on Mason Montgomery Road. They're not exactly sure how it got to this, but they believe the teenager drove past all the signs that indicated things were going in the wrong direction. Traffic collision, 20 over 5 mile marker on I-71 northbound. The wreckage left behind says more about the force of the impact than words ever can. The colors of Izine. It's going to be a head on crash semi versus a Jeep Cherokee. As first responders arriving, they hear the one thing that can make it all even worse. Six either advising vehicles on fire there. Can you confirm? There is troopers extinguishing it. Correction, it's still on fire. Per PD on scene, there is a vehicle on fire. But we're going to have 71 South uh, completely shut down. Crews are able to put out the fire, but the damage is done. A 17 year old died at the scene. Troopers say. He was driving this Jeep Cherokee, ran into the semi head on. And there's another unusual detail. Investigators say the teen was going the wrong way on the interstate. Troopers believe he entered at the I-71 exit ramp on Mason Montgomery Road, drove past no less than nine signs indicating wrong direction. He made it about a tenth of a mile going north in the southbound lanes before hitting the semi. On scene, two car and BS, one involving a semi. Investigators will use physics to determine the speed and force of the impact of the vehicles. There is no calculation for the impact on the lives of those touched by the crash. Yeah, and investigators are still working to try and understand why that teenager went up the wrong way here uh, on to I-71. Reporting live, Brian Hemrick, WLWT News 5. Brian, what do we know about the teenager and the trucker involved? Well, investigators believe they know who this teenager is, but they're still waiting to release the name uh, because they're waiting for the coroner to make the positive identification. The trucker was from uh, Maple Heights, Ohio. That's up near Cleveland. He's 30 years old. His name, Benoit Mapango. He was treated and released at the hospital. Ashley? Brian Hemrick.